some people say talent and things like that. There's nothing to do with talent, you know. People don't see that the, the, the hours, the weeks, the, the, the years and the years to come. I kind of tended to get into it when I was at a really young age, like maybe five, six maybe. I started drawing a lot, drawing like really random, really weird kind of pictures of trees and horses and anything really. That Like I was a kid so anything was kind of entertaining to draw at that time, Beetlejuice and Mickey Mouse. When I was about 15, we went to the National Gallery in Dublin on a school tour and I seen a Caravaggio painting up there called To Take in a Christ. And um, it just, uh, I sat there in amazement for like forever. <laughs> Felt like um, just looking at the fingernails, the detail, everything, I just couldn't understand how somebody was able to do it with a brush. So from there then I kind of, I started kind of drawing a lot more painting in school, a lot more, not with oils or anything, but trying my hand with everything I could, even in school. Um, they were really good to me in school as well. Only over the last five years, pretty much, I started to look at it in a really, really, really deeper way. Um, more in a, a kind of a, a philosophy way, as in why, why I'm actually doing this. Is it a good thing or is it a curse? Where I grew up, didn't really have a lot of opportunity to go far, you know, in any kind of aspects, as in especially with art, with dancing, with anything kind of creative, because you're in a bubble where you're being kind of brought up and taught that this is the norm, you know. I'm lucky enough that I had like really, really good parents that kind of taught me right from wrong in, in, in a certain way um, and showed me kind of different routes and always supported what I did totally, 100%, and I'm lucky. Um, a lot of people don't have that, you know. Yeah, right now I think in this in this kind of in this age we're at, and I'm at with my painting, I find like a style is almost necessary to give you um, to to give you some sort of foundation as an artist or as a painter, or as a sculptor or anything. So in the long run, the more knowledge that I have of um, techniques and past masters and understanding how they approached their own painting. The more knowledge I have of that, the more I can kind of I can kind of do with my own stuff, you know. And it's trial and error. I mean it can take you you could probably live five years or five lifetimes and still never have a grasp on any of them actually. But for me it's kind of like it's almost feeding the need anyway from day to day of trying to learn as much as I possibly can learn. And like painting an eye, developing a skill to be able to paint something so simple and realistic and trying to break it back into its most abstract form um, from the inner, getting it really delicate to the point where I'm continuing to learn and study and, and, and it's a learning process. It's never to do a series of paintings, it's never to do them to sell them, it's to do them to, to feel like I'm constantly learning. So when I look at things in general, and most people would without even knowing it, you're looking at an object or a specific person or situation and you're focused in on something um, and then it becomes real. Everything around that is, is, is abstract, everything is broken down. You can't, you can't focus on two things at one point. Um, if you have the emotion, the intensity, the soulful place, again I go back to, and you can depict that in a, uh, in a way that can relate to, to anybody, can it relate to a kid, it can relate to an 80 year old man. That's something that a word, there, there's no word for. It's not the painting, it's not the viewer, it's what's in between that matters. You know what I mean? If that painting can give you a feeling of emotion, or give you the feeling of the person that did it, their emotion, that's amazing. No, art is a depiction of beauty. Beauty is a basic human and common need. Um, that need is never going to be fulfilled, so art can never die. 